It's 20 past seven on Sunday. I am gonna make the most of my morning. I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee. And I think we're gonna go for a walk in the park this morning, get some brunch. We're gonna to go to, I think, Apple Blue in Balham, which is gonna be so nice. And have a really wholesome, chilled out Sunday. So it's a couple hours later. I am dressed. Well, I have my pajama buttons still on, but I thought I'd put my top on because I'm gonna do my makeup. We're heading out for brunch soon and I really wanted to show you the Jones Road Miracle Balm. I was going to do a separate video for it, but I thought why not just shove it into this vlog because I don't know if people tend to enjoy like full makeup videos. Please tell me what kind of things you like to see because I feel like I'm a bit unsure at the minute of what exactly people like to view. So I have a cup of tea, I have my hair tongs, I have all my makeup just in here. And I am going to sit and do my makeup with you, try out this new Miracle Balm and do a bit of hair. I'm going to do my hair first just because I need to sort it out. Let's get into the main point of this whole thing, which is the Jones Road Miracle Balm. I got the shade Au Natural, which is the most colourless um, kind of light balm. This is what it looks like in the tub when you get it. The idea is that you're meant to like push into it to break the, the seal on the top. I'm going to zoom in and show you this. Okay, so I've just broken the seal and obviously it's like a totally different texture. Oh, it smells really nice as well. It's quite, yeah, it's got a nice smell to it. It feels so lovely. It's quite thick. It feels like kind of a, a moisturising barrier cream sort of vibe. I'm in the proper light in front of the window just to properly show you what the real texture looks like. I feel like it looks really glowy. I would definitely wear a layer of fake tan underneath it. I'm just going to go in now and do a little bit of makeup. I'm going to probably put on a bit of concealer. Yeah, let me just do that on camera with you. Maybelline Erase Concealer. Do a bit of this. I'm just going to put some of the Rimmel Sun Shimmer on there. Okay, so that is the base pretty much done. I am really pleased with that. Maybe it's time to take the Rimmel Sun, Sun Shimmer out of retirement. I really love that base. I feel like it's super glowy. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. Just my usual Clinique chubby stick. This is called Amped Up Apple, by the way, by Clinique. I'm going to finish off with some of the Rodial Lash Lift Mascara. This is a very natural mascara. It doesn't really hold a curl. If you're into volume and long lashes, I would not recommend. This is more just of kind of an easy Sunday mascara. I'm just putting on the tiniest bit. And that is the finished hair and makeup look for today. I'm gonna tidy all this stuff up and get my jeans on, my boots on and get wrapped up because it's quite cold today and we're gonna head out for some Sunday brunch. We're all ready for brunch. I think I'm just gonna go out with this jumper and this bag because in hindsight, it's actually quite sunny today and I feel like I'll be all right in this. So I'm gonna wear this and then I have on my blue jeans and my black boots. And we're heading now. I decided to wear my black trench coat because it's actually freezing. We're just walking through the park and we're gonna go to milk, we think. For a nice breakfast, a breakfast muffin.
we just got home from milk. We had the most amazing brunch. I had the convict, which is like a sausage muffin thing covered in parmesan with a hash brown, bacon, eggs. It's so good. And then we got an extra side of hash browns. And then on the way back, we popped into the little local craft beer company, which is called Clapton Craft. Matt got a couple of beers and then we went to Aldi and picked up some chocolate eclairs, a bottle of red wine because I really fancy a red, a glass of red with my mushroom lasagna that we're having the leftovers from tonight. And we got some garlic bread, Aldi's best garlic bread. And then Matt picked up a couple of cans of his favorite beer. Mondo and Speak. So we're just gonna get cozy now. I've put the heating on. We've got some Saturday kitchen going on on TV, even though it's it's half one, so it's on replay. But yeah, we're just gonna get cozy and chill and have a chilled out rest of our Sunday. So I will catch up with you a little bit later. Next on the agenda is an eclair and a cup of tea while we watch Trigger Point. This is our latest obsession. I think we're... We're quite invested now, aren't we? Yeah, it's quite good. Matt's not very easily impressed, but I'm, I am. <laughs> Here is afternoon tea break. Cup of tea and an eclair. Let's do an Aldi eclair taste test. We, the last ones we had were from M&S, the eclairs, weren't they? Yeah. So I'll give it a test for you guys. I'm sure it's not gonna be groundbreaking. Mm, pretty good. The shoe pastry is not as good as the M&S one, I would say. For two of them. <laughs> Matt's saying it was ATP for two of them, so I shouldn't be expecting too much, but they're not bad. I've just been having such a chilled Sunday, had a nap, lay on the sofa, read a little bit of my book, have watched different documentaries, one on Disney Plus about um, a woman whose husband was literally living a double life and was completely crazy. And then I had a glass of wine. I'm currently preparing dinner. So I've got the table set here. We're having the leftover mushroom, mushroom, mushroom lasagna from the other week, the other night. And I'm just cutting up some basil, got some tomatoes. I'm going to do a salad. We've got some garlic bread. And I'm also rehydrating. I think tonight I'm also going to do, I'm going to shower tonight, do a bit of fake tan, do a face mask, do a hair mask, maybe repaint my nails because they're in such a state. So I'm going to show you guys when I do all that. But it's currently quarter to seven and I am just getting dinner ready. So I'm going to show you what I, I'm going to show you all the food heated up when it's ready. And my wine is very good, by the way. This is the one from Aldi, if you would like to purchase. This is the final dinner. We have our mushroom lasagna, we've got our garlic bread, some cheese, and we're gonna watch the show Buried because my mum recommended it and it looks really good, so. I will talk to you after dinner. bathroom now I am gonna be doing a little bit of a Sunday night refresh I'm having a shower doing a face mask doing a hair mask doing a bit of skincare a bit of fake tan to help ease me into Monday we just finished watching a documentary on Netflix called Buried and it was incredible like really really good would highly recommend it's on Netflix and it was basically about an avalanche. It was really, really interesting, very sad, another sad one for a Sunday night, but I would say go watch it if you want something interesting to watch. I'm gonna start with this face mask. So I have the Kiehl's turmeric and cranberry pumpkin seed 
Oh, turmeric and cranberry. I thought this was pumpkin something or other. Anyway, turmeric and cranberry seed mask. I'm just gonna put it all over my face. I should probably cleanse first. Let me cleanse first. My cleanser, as you know, is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, my favorite. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this because I didn't wear much makeup today, just that quite minimal makeup earlier. I'm just gonna wash this off with my Muji flannel, which is covered in makeup. I only replace this like once a week. Maybe I should do a little bit more frequently because it is orange. The mask is bright yellow. You've probably seen this before. I use it not that frequently actually when it's been a bit colder, it's kind of, it is good for the skin. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this, a very thin layer. I think you're meant to leave this on for 10 minutes maximum, but I'm gonna leave probably for like five while I do this hair mask and then jump in the shower. I'm already using a retinol, so I don't want too much resurfacing going on, otherwise I'll probably damage my skin. So let's try and avoid that. The scent of this one is really nice. So I'm just gonna smother this basically all through my hair. I like to focus the hair mask as well, like around the front, um, because I often tong these bits. Okay, I've just thrown my hair up into a clip, a claw clip at the back, and I'm letting my face mask dry a little bit. I'm gonna go chill for five minutes and just sit on and watch TV for a bit. But I wanted to quickly show you my shower gel that I'm gonna use. This I got for Christmas from Matt's mum. She very kindly got picked this up for me. I think it's from TK Maxx. It's a deep cocoon shower cream and it smells lovely. So I am gonna try this in the shower. It does smell very calming and very like Sunday vibes. So that's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna try this in the shower today. And then also I'm gonna put on some of my Saint Tropez glowing skin tanning water on the face and kind of like top of my shoulders and like chest sort of area when I come up because I want to try the Jones Road tomorrow morning with a layer of tan because I feel like it'll look really nice. The other fake tan that I adore is the Jamie Genevieve U tan. I feel like it's such a good fake tan. It's a bit darker. This is more like everyday glowy. This is like wannabe tanned. So love both of those. I've just been editing this video and realized that I didn't end it properly. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you for another upload soon. Bye.